Hey gorgeous, so we are back again with another boho goddess box braids but this time around we're going to be using crochet box braids to achieve this gorgeous hairstyle in less than 2 hours so if you're interested, let's get right into it Okay, okay, listen girls to all the girlies out there who love the boho goddess box braids this right here has changed the game for us. This one is from Y Weeks Hair and this is their crochet box braids in the boho style. They sent me three packs and taking this hair out of the pack, this is what you get. This is their human and synthetic hair blend and this is what it looks like. At the back you have your maintenance instruction on how to maintain this hair. This is what the box braids look like. This is a fusion of human hair and synthetic braids and this is what it looks like can you guys see the blend can you guys see the flow can you guys see how this was made now at the tip you do have the human hair but this is in the in the length 30 inches there's a lot to work with right this is what it looks like um typically i like to be very detailed with my content i went ahead to count this and for each pack you do get 40 pieces of braiding hair are correct <laughs> this is what it looks like the braids are tight the hair is secure everything has been infused and blends beautifully well just to show you guys what it looks like you do get one two three four five and at the tip six fusion of human hair this is a pre-looped crochet braid and the braids are tight. It is boxed, it is not going anywhere. Now for the tools that we're going to be using for this installation, we're going to be using a large hook crochet needle, of course. We're going to be using this ebbing braid formula. It has a strong hold and also acts as a conditioner for partitioning the hair. We're also going to be using this rat tail comb. Now, moving on to how I partition and weave my hair. The first thing I love to do is to comb out my hair to release any knots so that way braiding and weaving would be so easy when I'm working with it, right? Use your hair dryer and that works. I went ahead to partition and section my hair into three equal halves, exactly the way that it's looking right now. And I'm gonna go ahead to braid the back the way that I find is the most comfortable for me. Now, the thing with crochet hair is you do want to make sure that your, your weaves are not so big and not so small, right? I felt like with my own weaving, it was a bit too big, but it, guys, I'm used to braiding and weaving hair. So definitely make sure that you're partitioning your hair in a way that it is neither big and neither small, that is too tight for the loops to pass through so right now i'm just sectioning my hair because i do want to partition the sides and the hair into four equal um, five equal parts at each side so what i'm trying to do right now is to do like individual braids and then braid everything all back and connect it but guys i did that for the first one right here as you're seeing right now but after a couple of tries i figured you know what this is crochet um let me just do what i'm used to doing right i've seen this all over social media this is like the new style of crochet box braid whatever but guys do what works for you so i'm gonna be doing what works for me and just weaving this hair all back now i'm going to show you what i did at the center part because typically with my box braids with my crochet braids i like to use center parting because i feel like this is what works for me so i went ahead to just partition the hair what i'm doing at the center is to create individual braids so that way it looks like um you know it was individually braided right it gives off that illusion so i'm just seg sectioning the hair partitioning the hair and creating individual braids as you're seeing right now so yeah this is what i'm doing for the middle of the hair so that way when i apply the crochet braids the pre-looped crochet braids it kind of falls into this section and it looks like um it's it's it kind of aligns together basically so a mistake that i made here was not ensuring that all the weaves were 
neither big nor small and in this case i feel like this part this weave right here was a bit too big but we're gonna still work with it so yeah i did five i did five on one side and five on the other side i know i don't know if you guys can see how i did this hair all back but you always want to make sure that your hair is flat so that way it's not bulky and it doesn't look funny when you're using and applying and installing your crochet braids right so make sure your braids are flat and it's not bulky and that would <laughs> save you a lot of time so this is what my braiding pattern looks like right now and we're gonna go ahead to start you know installing it right <laughs> So hey, we're back again and now we are going to start installing the back. This is what the pattern looks like. Um, I feel like you might want to, you know, maybe do five weaves. But I'm going to be installing the crochet braids and I usually start off with the back whenever I am braiding or installing crochet because it makes it easier to kind of see how the hair is going to fall right so I'm doing this I'm going to show you guys up close in detail how to crochet but I do have a lot of videos on this but yeah I'm going to show you guys how to how I crochet but for this hairstyle I did use the three packs and like I said in each pack there are 40 strands guys this takes me less than 10 seconds to loop and i'm going to show you guys in normal time done i did that in 10 seconds i'm going to show you again done amazing and this hair took me a total of about i think an hour 40 minutes to you know weave and also install this has to be the fastest hair i've done in a long time i weaved my hair in under i think about an hour but then installing this crochet braids took me about 40 minutes or about i want to say between 40 minutes to about an hour but guys everything was less than two hours and i'm being real with you it took it takes 10 seconds to install just one braid right for me if you are a beginner it might take you a bit longer but trust me two hours three hours tops and you have a full head of hair right so i'm going to be installing the crochet braids on the side and i was just watching something while doing this like this is was so easy but also very therapeutic right i'm also trying to kind of measure out how many braids i'm putting per you know weave per line so that that way it's kind of balanced and it's not too full right so yeah again with this i'm going to show you up close how i'm doing this now this is how i am putting the needle through the weave through my hair i'm looping that braid in and i'm dragging it out ensuring that the latch is closed opening up the latch hooking it onto the braiding hair and also passing it through so that way we can create this knot right here i'm going to show you guys i'm going to push it in to create a knot and this kind of gives off the illusion of a knotless method i don't know if you guys can see but now it looks like i just did like a knotless method showing you guys the process again opening the latch putting the latch through my hair or my weave that i just you know created and then putting that loop into that latch and then dragging it through my hair opening the latch again hooking it through the hair and dragging it through the loop so that way we can create a knot so i'm just gonna pull that through and tighten it i'm trying to be very detailed so i'm taking my time typically i am faster than this and this is the knots that we created right so this is my method of um you know installing my crochet braids for it to look the way that it's looking for it to fall flat but also for it to create this knot that you're seeing right here and i'm going to be doing this all over again ignore what you're seeing right now guys the thing with crochet braids is you do have to trust the process because you know sometimes it might look crazy but once you're done installing everything and then the hair is full it kind of covers 
the imperfection and then it looks amazing so again trust the process but listen when i was done there was nothing you were you're gonna tell me because you can style this in however we want and it looks amazing so i'm gonna take my time to do this like i said this installation took me about 40 minutes i, I have never done hair in even the week that i do i spend more time doing that so this was a relief for me and yeah i'm gonna just speed this process a little bit So this center right here is the main part because this is what you guys and people are going to see. So I want to make sure that it's as perfect as possible. So I'm looping that hair through the individual braids that we did. So that way it looks like we did individual braids. <laughs> I don't know if I'm, that makes sense. But I'm putting the needle through those individual braids that we did. So that way it blends in with that section and it looks like I actually created individual braids right so that's what we're doing right now and this just makes it more realistic it helps the hair fall in place and it just creates that illusion of you know you know it could be a box braid it could actually be a not less box braid meanwhile we know that it's crochet <laughs> right look at the way i am passing the needle through the angle that i'm passing the needle through the hair is so important that way it creates this knot that you guys are seeing right here so i'm just taking my time to put each um, individual braid that i did on my hair i'm attaching a braid a pre-looped crochet braid through that so that's what i'm doing right now and i'm just going to let you guys watch through this and yeah also if you feel like there are like bald spots places that feel scanty feel free to go in with more braids to fill that up that was what i ended up doing after i did this section just to add more volume and to make it look good again i used three packs of this braiding hair and each pack there are 40 individual braids meaning that on my head I did 120 individual pre-looped crochet braids. So in case you're curious, yes, I did use all the three packs for this hair. Now, if you want something less voluminous, you can definitely use two packs. Two packs means that you have 80 individual braids. And typically when I'm braiding my hair by myself from start to finish, I always braid 80 individual braids so yeah um i did 120 because i feel like these braids were a bit um tiny compared to my usual braiding pattern and i usually like it voluminous now if you're done all you have to do is unhook that knot and drag it out literally five seconds drag it out you can take everything down in about 15 minutes which was what i did and yeah you can also reuse this crochet box braids over again just wash maintain it properly now we're going to go ahead to styling this hair this is what the finished look looks like i'm going to be using my edge control my braiding formula from ebon i'm using this to create waves and also to help tame my edges because again i do have a bit of like an undergrowth i haven't relaxed my hair in i want to say about six months so i'm using this to make my hair look 
tamed and seamless and it's looking amazing right now <laughs> So moving on, I'm going to be using mousse right now. You can use water, but I'm going to be using my mousse right here. And I'm just going to be applying this generously through my hair. Again, this is in 30 inches. So I do have a lot of hair <laughs> attached to this. And I want each strand to be saturated with this mousse. So that way it gives off that shine, luster, revives the curl and it looks good this is how i like my hair i'm just crunching it up a little bit so that way the curls don't leave flat i want that volume to be there i want it i want you guys to see the human hair i'm also applying that on the tip because the tips again are human hair i feel like this hair looks so beautiful like on like a shorter length but yeah for now i like it long i love it long but i'm just saturating the whole hair with the mousse and this is what it looks like right here let me know what you guys think this is a final look would you guys give this a try again this is reusable so when you're done installing this you can take this out you can wash it you can you know apply some product onto it and use it again all over again the box braids are tight they are not going anywhere so they're gonna last a while for you but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video let me know down in the comment section again this is a multi versatile style you can style it however you like half up half down side part you know all back listen center part everything works but yeah i'll see you guys in the next one till then stay fabulous bye guys